More EMTs and paramedics in northern Colorado might be adding bulletproof vests to their uniforms. UC Health is considering buying vests for its first responders employed at Poudre Valley Hospital. Health specialist Kathy Walsh joins us from Denver Health, where first responders have had bulletproof equipment now for nearly a year, Kathy. As more criminals take aim at first responders, Karen, more first responders are adding this extra layer of safety. All Denver Health EMTs and paramedics now have bulletproof gear, Kevlar helmets and Kevlar vests that include ceramic plates. It feels very protective. 19 pounds of protection in situations that can weigh heavy on first responders. With the ongoing areas of the U.S., which is kind of a small war zone, uh, the Denver Paramedic Division wants to be ready for anything. The over-the-uniform armor went into service in June 2016, following four months of training with police, SWAT, and EMS. Wearing the gear isn't mandatory, but it goes out on every shift. It's rare a week goes by that one of our paramedics isn't assaulted in some form of way. We have an active shooter in the stairwell. Last June 28th, the equipment was used when Denver police got a call about an active shooter at the Alliance Center downtown. With police protection, paramedics went in to help victims. Is this going to protect one of your people no matter what? No matter what? No, it's not. Is it going to increase the chance that they're going to go home at night? Absolutely. Chief Paramedic Gary Briskevich says the cost for the armor and helmets was around $265,000. Most was funded through a Homeland Security grant. And something we hope we don't need, um, but we're glad it's there. Denver paramedics can wear concealed body armor, but... They have to pay for it themselves, and it can cost up to $1,500. Funds raised at this year's Denver Health Gala will help those folks with loans to buy that equipment. Reporting live in Denver, Kathy Walsh, CBS4 News. It's great they have it, Kathy. Thank mm -hmm. you.